my dad asked me a couple of days ago if I could um, recommend a, a decent firewall for his impending fibre to the property, FTTP. I could think of nothing better than PFSense, what I use. Not going to get into the debate on OpenSense versus PFSense. We're just going to go with PFSense because that way I can VPN in. So he went ahead and ordered a fanless PC, which I have here. So let's unbox it and have a look. I'm not going to do an unboxing because it's just, you know, it's just a fanless PC. So let's get it out and have a quick look at it. Power brick. Power cable. Little PC. That is tiny. And a VESA mount and some standoff screws for, I guess, an extra hard drive if you want to put it in. Is that everything in there? Yes, it is. Away you go. So, let's get this out of the bag. <coughs> that really is tiny. Look at that. <laughs> so, we have two NICs, two USB. And a HDMI and a barrel jack. So let's get it all set up and have a look at it. From the this this came from Amazon. From the listing that he um, looked at and, and purchased, it said that it had PF Sense Plus on it, which. Uh, if it does, is not a good thing because of their licensing. And uh, either way, that will be removed and the PF Sense Community Edition will be going on it for no other reason than I want to keep it correctly licensed so let me get this set up and i'll be right back okay so that's powering on yeah so that started up and these are 2.5 gig nicks as far as i remember and it is pf sense plus i saw that on the, the startup now i don't need the mouse so i'm going to take the mouse out and stick my usb dry in that we don't need that not the moment okay rebooting I wonder what the BIOS button is for this. Probably delete. There we go. Right. So it's got an NVMe. That's good. 128 gig. Yeah, that's decent. Should we have a quick look at the, the BIOS while we're here? <laughs> Celeron J4125. That's the same as what I've got. Uh, let's just go through this. CPU configuration. <laughs> yeah. Good, good, good. Number of cores to enable. Oh, okay. Interesting. Total memory, 8 gig. That's decent. Okay. Let's, um, let's get PFSense CE installed on this device. Let's see if I can just do it on here. The UEFI. There we go. Right, so let's get this installed. Now I've I've done a, a PF Sense install before, but here we go. We're going to do another one. Accept install Auto ZFS. One gig. I don't think so. So I usually go half of what's on there so we'll go four and we'll go gpt uefi only pf sense 4k yeah yep 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 so that's what we want no redundancy nda zero yes i'm sure here we go extracting the install media is a usb 3 and there we go it's installed already that's how quick it is what was that under a minute 
USB disk is out. PF sense. And we don't need the mouse, so that can go away just for a minute. Should you use VLANs? No. Enter the WAN. So ICG, oh, IGC0 is WAN, and LAN is IGC1. Yes. Configuring. Now, my intention is to set this up for uh, IPv6 as well as IPv4, because the package that my father is intending to get with his FTTP comes with um, IPv6 stack, and he's going for a static IP address, which is always good. Maybe a little bit of a problem here. Okay, so we have PFSense set up. So let's set some IP addresses uh, on the WAN. No, so 192.168.0.1 is the one that we want it to have. Subnet mask, 24. We want it to have the LAN as its upstream gateway. And we'll set up, actually let's do that now. Yes, and we'll go from enter the address. So we'll go 192 168 0 20. And we'll go 192 168 0.250. Do you want to revert to HTTP as the web configurator protocol? Why not for now? And we'll get the certificates and all that set up for him as well. Excellent. So that should, should be all we need from here. I just want to check one thing though. So I'm going to go into the shell. So it's FreeBSD 14 current. Okay. Does that mean I have uh, BCTL? Yes, I do. Let's list all the, yeah, excellent. So I'm going to create one because you can't do this from the interface, I don't think, on, on CE. So create and it'll be um, there we go excellent so let's clear that and we don't need that anymore so let's log out of the console it's logged out so I'm just going to quickly switch over to my other PC put my mouse back in there we go right so it's just a, a Linux Mint because all I want is a browser And it will tell me that I'm connected to the network or not connected. Let's change it then. There we go. All right. So admin PF sense. All right. Okay. There we go. Next. Next. I might have to go and sit on the loo. All right, so we're going to call this FW2, and that'll be at the domain name. Oh, doesn't want the domain name in there. Yep. All right, configure WAN. Yep, 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 yep. All right, LAN IP, yep. Admin password. Right, so we'll go and he'll know what that is. Reload is now in progress. I'll be back in a minute. So let's uh, click finish. Yeah. Annoyingly. So let's have a look. Does it have boot environments? No, it doesn't. Right, so you can only do that from the terminal. That doesn't surprise me okay can't do any updates because not actually connected to the internet so pretty sure I changed that to 20 yeah NTP server no it's not in there is it did I put it in this one I think I might have done it must have been in here right NAT reflection pure NAT because we're going to need that save 
can never remember where the NTP is. Yeah. Right, okay. That's what I want. Copy. Go back here. And save. Apply that. So we basically got a DHCP server running on the LAN interface. So let's check that that's running. Let's bring up a terminal. Let's see what it is. So it's two at the moment. Let's reboot. Hello, IT. Have you tried turning it off and on again? I just want it to get the right IP address, just so that we know that it's DACP. Right. Let's not show that again. Let's see what IP address we got. You can tell I don't use it often, can't you? There we go, 20. So that's good. We know we're, we're, we're cooking with gas. Yes! Hell yeah! Hey, come on, baby! Come on! Yes! Come on! Ah! Yes! Yes! Okay, right, so where was we? Let's have a quick look at our LAN. IPv6, we're gonna track interface, that's the one. IPv6 interface will be WAN, that's it. So that's our IPv6 set up for when he's got his new one. We'll just apply that. Excellent date. Let's quickly look at WAN. DHCP, DHCP6, do, 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 do. All right, only request an IPv6 prefix, do not request IPv6 address and change it to 56. Send prefix hint, apply that. Excellent, right, so firewall, rules, and there are no rules for this. So let's what are we on? This is on WAN, so let's copy this rule, which is pass WAN IPv6 any LAN subnets to any. And save that one. Okay. Let's go to the LAN rules, and we've got Default allow LAN to any and allow LAN IPv6 to any and the anti-lockout rule. That's pretty much it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to NAT. Actually, before we do that, we're going to go to aliases and I'm going to just make up an alias of uh, server ports. List of server ports exposed to the internet ports All right so let's add a list of ports <laughs> 25 smtp 143 no i'm at 993 i'm at s 25 we've got 465 SMTPS submission that is five eight seven okay so there's our list now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a rule port forward when IPv4 UDP TCP destination WAN address server ports to server ports 192.168.0.10 redirect oh and we'll call that list of server ports 
exposed to the internet. Use the system default and save. So this should set up all my server ports to allow them to come into my network. So let's have a look at it. Yeah. Okay. So what else do I need to do? Well, that's pretty much it at the moment. I will set up a VPN. And I will set up... Actually, let's do that. No, we can't do that, can we? Because we're not configured to connect to the internet. But we can be. Spot alert. That should bring up internet connection on here now. There we go. That's what we wanted. So, let's go to package manager available packages refresh that list we'll get acme which should also mean yeah excellent so that's working we know the firewall is working all right available packages what else do we want we'll get pf blocker ng yeah that's good we'll get cron Probably don't need any others, to be honest. Yep, that'll do. Okay, so let's double check that there's no updates. Up to date. Right. Right, we'll come back to that in the next video and then we'll set up the dashboard. But for now, I think that'll do it. <clears throat> I'll leave a link in the description to PF Sense's website, as always. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully you find this useful. This is just me going through it. Um, for set up from a dad hopefully he gets use out of it soon we'll see i'll see you in the next video take care